Do you need liberation from the chaos of working in your business? Well, you have punched your ticket to the right place, right here. On the Business on Purpose podcast, Scott Beebe, your head coach, the founder of the Business on Purpose platform. If you've been around here any length of time, there are a variety of things that we hang our hat on. One, wisdom. We like to talk about it a lot. God's worth, foundational truth for us. I know it makes some people uncomfortable, but I also realize that it's not truthful unless we talk about it. We hold to the four steps to business freedom, where inherently lies the vision, mission, values, systems, and processes, and all that is within. And there's one thing we do within the process that we've really hung our hat on, and it's taught by Mike Michalowicz, in a book called Profit First. Mike, Ron Saharian, those guys lead that movement, and we bought in. And in that movement, one of the core foundational factors is to set up a series of bank accounts, multiple bank accounts, not just one, that you run your business from, because one is too chaotic. You say, well, I can just run it from one. No, it's really hard. It's kind of like Dave Ramsey's envelope system. Yeah, it looks peculiar. It looks like it's overkill, but you know what? At the end of the day, it's really helpful, and it makes you become a better steward of what God has provided for you. And so I thought I'd play this clip. It's a great clip from one of the members of our coaching group. We've got one of the members who's about to open their five accounts, and I asked if anybody had any insight and perspective of things they needed to be wary of before they opened the five accounts. And this particular member brought out something I was not expecting, and I'll see you on the back end. I want you to listen to this. It's interesting because we've been doing it for about four or five months. And I think that at first I thought it was fairly seamless. I I had two, I had a local accountant that was kind of doing data entry here. And then I had another accountant who was working on a um, bill quick. So I had a QuickBooks person and a bill quick person because we had two different systems, project management, as well as office financial. And I thought it was going really well. It seemed pretty simple from where, where I was. I was depositing it into one account and then spreading the money out as I, on a monthly sweeping basis. And it just actually, I just found out um, this week that the local QuickBooks person doesn't understand it at all. So it, it's, it's, I, it's very clear to me because I can see what's happening, but she was having a hard time. Um, and I think she was just sort of ignoring it. So, uh, interestingly enough in a, uh, sort of a, uh, we've, we've parted ways in a very kind, it's like, if, if you're not going to do this and if it doesn't make sense to you, the other guy can actually pick up the work. And so we're trying to, as we were writing the roles about the, the invoicing process, I realized it had gotten too complicated having two people trying to work on it. So we're simplifying that. But I, I, it, it's to me, it's giving me peace of mind because you can very clearly, without an accounting um, sort of mindset, see exactly what's going on. So I guess the takeaway, Jefferson, is communicate with your bookkeeper, make sure they're on board, yeah, and then and then roll. And another key takeaway is if they're not on board and unwilling to get on board, it's not that you're mad at them. It's just yeah. it's not going to be a compatible fit. Yeah, because. Uh, what we do know is this works. Um, and we also know that if you don't have a bookkeeper on board with it, then it will be frustrating. It'll work, <laughs> but it'll be frustrating yeah. Yeah. in how it works. So did you catch what he said? Essentially, his vision called for him to set up these accounts, but his bookkeeper was not in line with his vision and was unwilling to change. So instead of bowing to the person who was working for him, what he decided to do was find a better fit. Is he mad at the bookkeeper? No. Does he think a bookkeeper's a bad person? No. It simply wasn't a fit. If you're finding yourself having to fight uphill against a financial professional, accounting professional, to do something that's actually going to give you more liberation, more freedom, more control over the resources that God is providing you, then you've got every right and, quite frankly, a responsibility to find somebody who will be a good fit for you. Don't be afraid of that. If you need help with that, let us know. We've got friends. We've actually got financial professionals who've gone through our programs we can connect you with. And we know Ron and the guys at Profit First, and we can connect you with them as well to hook you up with somebody who's going to be in lockstep and in line with allowing you to have the freedom and control over the resources that are being provided 
to you through your business because how else are you going to serve well? And we want you to serve well. If there's anything we can do for you, let us know. The best place to go is the private Facebook group. If you're a small business owner, just go to Facebook and type in Systematize My Small Business and you can find us there. And if you're a small business owner, answer a couple of questions and we will have you come into the group as long as you're willing to both invest and consume. Not just consume, but invest and contribute. We'll see you there and we'll see you next time right here on the Business on Purpose podcast.